What's up you guys, Jedi Master Josh here and today we are going to open two of what I believe are the best products out on the market currently. Now this is a pre-Astral Radiance, so Astral Radiance hasn't actually launched yet. You can go out and get the pre-release built-in battle decks. They can be found at some local game stores and like I, I think GameStop might be getting them, I'm not entirely sure about that. but. Other than Astral Radiance, I believe that these two are probably the best products that you can get right now just in stores normally. I know that this uh, Arceus V figure collection box is a little bit more difficult to find, but if you can find it, I would say definitely grab one of these. It's got you know a great promo card, an awesome figure, and then the pack selection is really great too. You get Chilling Rain, two Brilliant Stars, and a Cosmic Eclipse. You can't beat that. And then these are Evolving Skies three pack booster blister boxes. I, I I guess I guess I don't know exactly what you want to call these, but these were done back in like the Sun and Moon era for a couple of sets in Sun and Moon and uh, they're doing it for Evolving Skies now as well. Uh, I've opened a few of these in another video. I opened four of them, so definitely check out that video. And then I also did a video where I opened two of the Arceus figure collections, and I actually pulled a gold card from Cosmic Eclipse from one of those, so definitely check that video out as well. But let's go ahead and dig into this Evolving Skies box first. I'm going to go ahead and set the Arceus V box off to the side. And uh, while I'm opening this up, I want to say I did have a comment, a quite a while ago uh, where someone asked me if I was saying Arceus as a joke or uh, something like that and it, I thought it was a really good question and uh, no actually I say Arceus because that's the way that I prefer to say it and uh, Arceus, Arceus, it's said both ways actually so from in in Japan from what I actually had, I, I, I'm going to save Umbreon for last, Umbreon's my favorite Eeveelution, we'll start with Duraludon. But uh, in Japan, from what I've heard and what I've read, is it's pronounced Arceus. But in most Western countries like America, it would be Arceus, or it's referred to as Arceus. So technically, both ways are correct, and I, I just prefer Arceus. I think, in my opinion, that was how I read it the first time I read the name of the Pokemon. So I just feel like Arceus is the way I want to go. And I know I'm stalling because I can't get this Evolving Skies pack open, but we... We've almost got it open. All right, here we go. So first of the three Evolving Skies packs, if you guys want to get the code cards for these, make sure you like the video, comment on the video, and also make sure you're subscribed. Any subscriber that likes a video and comments on the video has the chance to get a code card as a comment, as a reply on your comment from me. Sorry. But yeah, so definitely make sure you're commenting down below because you could get some code cards, some really good ones. I have lots of different code cards I can hand out, so... Definitely make sure you're commenting. It seems like lately I've just been giving out code cards to every comment. So if you're if you're commenting, you might you you will probably get a code card from me. But let's move into this next evolving skies pack. We didn't get much out of that first one, but there's two more to go. So hopefully we can get a little bit more lucky. That was actually something I was expecting to see in the Arceus figure box when uh, it was uh, being kind of announced and talked about initially. I was thinking that Evolving Skies would actually wind up in that box. It seemed like it would be m a fire energy, psychic energy. Uh, it just seemed like it would be a good idea to have Evolving Skies instead of Chilling Rain. I don't know why Chilling Rain was chosen, but it seems like Chil Chilling Rain had a really huge reprint too, so they might just be trying to get off of those you know, overly reprinted packs that they had. But Chilling Rain, I think, is also one of those sets that's kind of, like, underrated. I think it's a really good set, and I think people should uh, probably be looking at maybe collecting more of it. I don't know. I'm, I'm not the one to say those things, so I'm not going to say it too loud or too often. But, yeah. <laughs> so we're into our last pack of Evolving Skies here with Umbreon, uh, Umbreon on the pack art. Let's see if we can get it out of the pack and then pull something a little bit better from this one than we have been pulling. And let's see, we got four to the front. I'm gonna call this one a metal energy. We've got fire energy. And hopefully we can get something. Now when I did the bo the video of the four boxes that I opened these, I actually did get a pretty good pull out of that. So I would 
recommend uh, checking out. The, oh, here we go, Leafeon VMAX. All right, that's a great pull to pull from Evolving Skies. All of the evolutions in this set are wonderful. I would have, I mean, obviously, it would have been great to pull like a, one of the alternate arts or uh, something like that. But there we go. We've got our EV VMAX, um, <laughs> Leafeon VMAX, Evolution VMAX. But we'll go ahead and we'll set that up there in the pull pool. And that's the end of that Evolving Skies box. There are three packs in there. And from those three packs, we only got one, you know, really good pull. But, you know, it was actually a really good one. So I'm not going to complain too much. Now, I didn't want to open this box initially. But we're going to go ahead and do it. I've already opened two of them. And I felt like, ah, if I open more, it's kind of silly. But I found this box and it was all torn up and... Yeah, there's just all these tears and stuff in it. There's a tear here, there's a tear here, and I thought there's no way someone would want to keep this sealed or anything like that. So we're going to open it up, and we're going to see what we can't pull from that Cosmic Eclipse pack specifically. That's the one I'm most excited about. So let's see if we can get something nice out of that. And we'll take a look at this you know, wonderful promo card and this wonderful statue. And I already have the two other statues standing up here, so here's the final statue that's going to probably join the fray but take a close look at it I actually haven't done a really up close uh, showcase of it here on the channel so if you guys want to take a little bit closer look at the figure this is the figure here and it's actually got some weight to it it seems like a high quality figure I mean most of the figures you get from these figure collection boxes from Pokemon they are pretty high quality. I kind of want to see what this says on the bottom, but it's not wanting to focus. So we're just going to leave that for, you know, imagination, up to your imagination. Let's set this one next to the other one. Just They can just be friends for this video. And then there's the promo card that comes in the box as well. And it's a wonderful alternate art promo of Arceus V. And this is probably one of the biggest reasons to want to buy this box. This card is amazing. But I'm going to go ahead and just set it off to the side. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to set it off to the side. We're not just going to set it off to the side. We're going to put it into a sleeve. And we're going to put it up next to that Leafeon VMAX because it just deserves to be in the pool pool, right? It's a great card. I think it deserves to be up there. All right, let's take, <laughs> let's take a look at these packs. We've got one Brilliant Stars, one Chilling Rain, and... Just as we mentioned, One Brilliant Stars and that Cosmic Eclipse there that has Palkia, Dialga, and Arceus on there. All right. Set those off to the side. There is a code card that comes with this. If you guys want this code card, like I said, make sure you leave a like. You comment to the video. Comment on the video. Just tell me anything about Pokemon, about this video, about your favorite poll, about your favorite set, your favorite card. Anything Pokemon related. Just let me know in the comments down below and you could potentially get that as a reply from me. So just make sure that you are liking, subscribing, and commenting. And it'll be, it could possibly be yours. Let's go ahead and dig into this Chilling Rain pack first and see what we can get. And same thing with all of these code cards. If you guys want a code card, just make sure you are liking, commenting, and being subscribed to the channel. It is free to subscribe. It's free to make an account on YouTube. It helps out the channel tremendously, and I appreciate it in so many ways. Let's go ahead and see what we can get out of here, though. I'm really hoping for, with Chilling Rain, I, I'm pretty sure Chilling Rain has the shiny gold Snorlax, and that's one of the cards I've been hunting forever. So we'll go ahead and say thanks, Doug Trio, for pushing that Snorlax out of the rare slot. <laughs> but Brilliant Stars is next. Brilliant Stars is probably the most fun set to open right now it's just hit after hit after hit it's obviously the newest set other than astral radiance which the official release date for astral radiance that was a mistake i didn't mean to show you guys the back of that code card but here you go that's a code card for you let's just go ahead and see what we can get out of this one it's even though it's not like a great code card we can still possibly get a trainer gallery card so Let's go ahead and take a look and see if we can pull one of those. But uh, yeah, Astral Radiance full release date is May 27th. So that's this next coming Friday, I believe. Uh, Thursday or Friday, something like that. So no Trainer Gallery card there. But like I was saying earlier on in the video, if you guys go and check out your nearby LGS's local game stores, you know, things like that, collectible shops, uh, there's the chance that they could have gotten the pre-release build and battle decks in and those have been on sale since last weekend 
and uh, it's insane because you can find them for sale on like eBay and Facebook Marketplace and stuff like that and people want a hundred dollars for a pre-release build and battle deck that is only 20 bucks <laughs> so let's say uh, how about uh, water energy fighting energy I haven't guessed an energy right in quite some time all right let's see what we get though we got Torkoal double turbo energy probo pass nose pass snow runt ball toy Minchino chimchar the reverse is a Dedene, and the rare is a Mewtwo. That's a great looking card, though. I actually could never be mad about pulling Mewtwo. Mewtwo's awesome. But we are down to our final pack. Hopefully, since we didn't get any really great packs out of all the other packs, we I mean, any great pulls out of the other packs, hopefully we can get a good pull out of this one. Cosmic Eclipse. Save this one for last. Hopefully we can get some last pack magic here. Saving best best for last? I don't know. I don't think that this is the best, but maybe of the three sets that, well, four sets that we've opened. Oh, it looks like we did not get a good code card. Here's that Cosmic Eclipse code card for you guys. And let's go ahead and just see what we have in here because it's always fun to look through Cosmic Eclipse. I'm going to guess a water energy. Fairy energy. All right, cool. Set that off to the side. And we've got a Mimic U, Will, Golduck, Carvana, Helioptile, Dupider, Golet, Teddy Ursa, Sveal, and the rare is a Mag Cargo. All right, you guys. Well, like I said, the reason why I wanted to open these was to kind of showcase what I believe are the best products that are out in stores currently. You can find these, these both of these items at Walmart and Meyer and I'm pretty sure you can find the Evolving Skies 3-packs at uh, Target, but I haven't seen them at Target personally, so just let me know in the comments if you guys find any at Target. But there we go. These are the two polls from the whole video. If you guys wouldn't mind leaving a like, commenting down below, and subscribing to the channel, I will see you in the next one.